Hey guys, long time no speak. I know I've been away for a while. I've had things going on um, in my life. I'll maybe do a live later on tonight and get a catch up with everybody. And yeah, but I just want to like get right into this video. That's me back. I'm sorry, like obviously, like I'm, I'm sorry that I disappeared. But yeah, anyway, but I want to get right into this. So. This video is going to be about the allegations, the alleged allegations, should I say, towards Tyler Perry and another black billionaire. So let's just get right into this video because I found some really, really, really interesting evidence, I would say. All right, here we go, guys. So who is Christian Keys? Now, I was looking at him and I thought, I recognise him, but I couldn't quite please his face. So I'm, I'll am i read into this and then I'll, wait, I'll let you know at the part I got my aha moment. Oh, this is who this is. So Christian Keyes is an actor. He was also He's also a model, singer, author and producer. Um, he was born in Detroit, Mich Michigan. Sorry. Um, and he's been on a ton, a ton of television shows and starred in a few movies. He's quite well known for um, playing in movies that are for black cast. Um, so, yeah, and he is... So where I recognised him when I got down to, like, life and career was... Um, so yeah, that's what I was, he, the black and the BET kind of comedies. That's what he's kind of known for the BET movies. He's a he's a massive advocate for um, black roles, black actors, and in, in Hollywood, etc. Um, so where I recognised him for from was that he was on one of my all time favourite show, which is Supernatural, and he played Michael the Archangel. And yeah, he it, it, it absolutely smashed that role. He played like a bad guy, and he, yeah, it was absolutely phenomen phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. He starred alongside some really massive names, and he got, I'm sure that he got a start um, through. Well, he didn't get a start, but he got his, like, more bigger roles um, when he teamed up, basically, with Tyler Perry. And he got a starring role in one of Tyler Perry's movies. And he also starred in one of Tyler Perry's stage plays called Medea Goes to Jail. Now, uh, I've got more to say on that, but I'll get into that more as we progress in this video. So, yeah, he's also offered uh, romance novels. Um, yeah, um, and as I say, he's written and produced... The, he starred in and he wrote uh, a BET Plus television drama uh, called All the Queen's Men, and that was written and produced by him eh, and done through Tyler Perry's studio. So, yeah, that's basically Christian Keys. And eh, I'll, I'll, I'll put throw pictures of him um, on the screen as I was talking about this. So, Christian Keys recently came out and did an Instagram story where he mentions SH and SA in this video, and he mentions that two of the main culprits of this were two black billionaires in America. So I'm going to like play clips of his video, and I'm going to like stop it at the because he gives clues, like, he absolutely gives clues as to who he's talking about. And um, all you have to do is just listen out for certain things that he says. 
and then you can I, I, so what I did that and then I went back and I looked at time frames and things that he'd mentioned in the video and if they could correlate to some of these people and uh, yeah yeah they actually do well I have to say allegedly do because uh, at this time and moment Christian hasn't came out and named anybody so let's just like get into the clips and uh, then I'll go over why I think it's these particular black billionaires that he's talking about he's the one that was sexually harassed for years years bullied intimidated and sexually harassed for years and i'm gonna be painted as the villain because y'all have deified this person and some of the people that you think are your mentors are literally and figuratively just trying to fuck you it it's in my fucking bone marrow and i'm tired of um, this person gallivanting around doing these PR stunts. Oh, I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna do that and I'm gonna do that. Well, then speak on if you want to have. Woo! I've kept one of these on me since 05. Um, whether it's a keychain recorder or a pen, because most predators would check your phone. Once the sexual harassment started, I was like, well, I need to, I, I gotta protect me because I'm saying no, and I don't want this person as powerful as they are to try to get in the way of my work. So I started recording. So I have them offering me money to take my clothes off. I've spoken with my attorney trying to figure out how to deal with it. It's never been about money. I, I literally intentionally let the statute of limitations pass. It's not about money or being able to sue. But at some point, really soon, the police report is going to be filed and I'll turn over the recordings of the inappropriate behaviors and the inappropriate offers. And I'll turn over the paperwork for the car that was bought as an apology for offering me $100,000 to take my clothes off. And y'all can hear him. But his voice is very distinctive. Christian says that this one particular black billionaire harassed him sexually for years. And the clue that I got um, was at the start of this clip where he said that people won't, won't, he'll be vilified because this particular person has been deified. People look up to him like an idol that he does. He, he goes on and well, I don't know if I've got it mentioned it. It doesn't mention it in this clip. Uh, it mentions that this person does a lot of in public speaking um yeah so i'm going to go uh, the, the the word deified that struck a chord for me and i'll show you why so here's tyler perry the alleged you, you know um the alleged person who this one particular story could be about Basically, yeah, being deified at a church. He go, he does a lot of uh, church sermons now. I don't know why he's not a pastor or anything like that. It's really weird. Yeah, just watch this clip. It's super weird. Come tell what the Lord told you. God bless you. It's caught me a little off guard, Bishop. A, a, a couple of, uh, what was it, three or four days ago? Three or four days ago, I, I called. I was at Manpower. And um, being blessed. 
wrote my check out. I said, you know, I, I didn't have my checkbook when I got to Pastor White's. Uh, when I got to a, a woman that I lose the night before and Pastor White said, you know, write a check for $113,000 for those of you who can. Write a, write a check for $113 for Psalms 113. And I wrote a check for $113,000. And I admit, my intention was to just leave the check and bless God. Because, see, I love to give. I've been a giver all my life. And when people have given to you and sown into you and God has touched them and given given you favor. Because, see, when you have favor with, come on, somebody. See, they don't understand it where I come from. They don't understand it in Hollywood. But I'm going to tell you something about the blood of Jesus. All of my life, you know, my mother, she didn't have much to give me. She didn't have millions of dollars. She didn't have some legacy, but she had Jesus. And she taught me about that God. So I didn't even know that he was he was trying to build this youth center. I didn't even know it, but I know how important the youth are. So we were sitting in the service, and I leaned up toward him, and I said, I've just been touched to give a million dollars. So as... So when you got up here and you said a million dollars, I said, God, I don't know what you're doing, but I know I heard your voice. Hey! I'm going to tell you right now, when you hear the voice of God, you move. Don't worry about what nobody says to you. Don't worry about what it looks like. Don't worry about your enemy. Don't worry about your hater. He will bless you. He will lift you. He will give you. Sometimes you spend too much time worried about your haters. You spend too much time worried about people talking about you. But what you need to understand is that the Bible says in order for you to be blessed, your haters have to be present. How do I know that? The book of Psalms says he prepares a table before me in the presence of my enemies. So in order for me to eat, they have to be present. So God bless you, Bishop. I pray right now that you will continue to do everything you're doing. I pray his anointing will stay upon you. I pray the power of God all over you. I pray his favor. I pray the blood of Jesus will come upon you right now. Keep you in his care. God, I thank you for your blessings. <laughs> yeah okay anyway so yeah that's like basically deifying Tyler Perry and that's not the first sermon that he's done he's done numerous sermons <laughs> unbelievable unbelievable so I'm gonna get into another clip this is this video kind of be a little bit over the place because the clips aren't in order uh, but I have got corresponding kind of things that I think are important to put beside these clips. So let's get into the next clip. And yeah, I put uh, Megan face on there. I had to. After all, she also thinks she's deified as well, doesn't she? Can you imagine, like, hearing 
Perry speak there, the way he was speaking. And we all know that he's um, Lily Bucks's godfather. Can you... Th- and, yeah, that g- gives you a kind of, like, a flavour, a kind of sense of what that bloody christening would have been like. Ooh. Anyway, let's get to the next clip. Is this another one of those meetings where you meet with uh, a black billionaire businessman and while my while my manager was there, everything is everything. I you know, I got my Kinko's presentation with the plastic cover on it. It's, it's, I pay good money on this, like good money. And running it down like you can invest in this, that and the other. So my manager leaves, he moves into a conference room. And I'm like, okay, it was a conference room. Nothing sketchy about this. Didn't realize that the doors on the side of the conference room right there led into his suite. So about eight or ten minutes, I'm nervous in my phone. I'm like, okay, what the f***? What is, okay, you changing? You got to use the bathroom. Is it number two? Cool. He comes back in in silk pajamas, silk robe, right as they're delivering strawberries and champagne like this is pretty woman or a fucking date now i'm like wait whoa uh-uh this ain't that this i'm not him and this ain't that i'd love for you to invest in my company he probably should have because he would own a piece of all the queen's man the the books i've already sold the six or eight books i'm about to release all of that he would have had a piece of of all of that monetarily, but he didn't. He was thinking with his dick. And yeah, he came back in, grabbed the strawberry, sat down, and I was like, yeah, I'm leaving. I'm, you got my presentation, I'm gone. He's like, are you sure? I said, yeah, yes, I'm sure. I'm sure. He's like, are you sure? That second, are, are you sure, means if you don't stay and do what I want, you're not going to get what you're hoping for. Now, this particular guy is out here paying tuition for entire classes of HBCUs after this sketchy sh**. Want to air him out too? Yeah, it's disappointing because you're like, you know, okay, well, I want to learn from this person. Or I want to learn from this person or maybe partner with this person over here because he's investing in black companies, not knowing that he's a predator. And this person who's supposed to be your manager is the worst predator of all. I didn't want to be the person that said that your hero, such and such, sexually harassed me for years and tried to sexually assault me. But it's traumatic when you deal with that bullshit for years, years of that bullshit. Years of pressure, years of intimidation, years of sideways comments and uh, insults and everybody else getting a raise, everybody else getting a vacation, everybody else getting uh, to be a part of this new show or this new thing. But because you ain't playing ball, literally and figuratively. Thank you, God, for not making me the kind of man that's going to his way to the middle. Now in this clip, Christian's talking about not just the first black billionaire, the second black billionaire. And he says that he went to a meeting and hopes that he would invest into his company uh, because he was creating a TV show based off his book, All the Queen's Men. But it goes on to mention some clues here that yeah i'm just going to show you so first of all i want to say that these are two black billionaires that he has mentioned so let's have a look at who are black billionaires in america before we go on to i'll go i'll go on to showing you what the clue he said uh, in this clip that points to the identity of the second black billionaire eh, who he wanted to invest in his company. So here we are. Here's a list of black billionaires in America. Now, there aren't that many. Eh, 16 
I counted um, maybe a few more. You know, you've got like Rihanna, Oprah, Tiger Smith, Tyler Perry, and yeah, there's the other names I'm putting the list up as we speak. But what I want to focus on was the clue that he gave in this particular clip. Now, he went on to say that this one particular black billionaire went on to finance scholarships for whole classes and on HBCUs. So let's have a look into that because there's only one, yes, one person that's done this, that's on that list. And I'm going to show you right now who that is. So here's an article from Forbes, a very reputable uh, source that says a uh, billionaire plays, pays sorry, tuition and fees for HBCU students. Now, the only black billionaire to have ever done this that's on that list is a guy called Robert F. Smith. And here we have this article again. It's Robert F. Smith launching 1.8 million grant program for HBCU students. Here we have another article. Black billionaire Robert F. Smith to donate 50 million to support STEM students at HBCUs. So he's the only one on that list that has donated and paid full classes, scholarships and tuition fees. So is this the guy who he, who Christian met and who propositioned him? I mean, that's the, the, he said that he does this on that clip, that he pays tuition fees for HBCU students. And he's the only black billionaire, because there's not that many, the only black billionaire on that list that's done this. So I have to say, obviously, alleged for legal reasons, but, yeah. Interesting, isn't it? Really interesting. Now, let's get back to Ty the Ty Tyler Perry and why people believe who the other black billionaire is him. So while talking about the first black billionaire who people believe is allegedly Tyler Perry, Christian went on to say something that was really interesting, another kind of little clue as it were. And he went on to mention a documentary because I think there was people commenting under it on, on this Instagram it post. But it goes on to say that he hadn't seen the documentary while talking about the person who has been harassing him for years, who sexually assaulted him as well. So let me play that little tiny part of the clip. And no, I didn't see that documentary. Now, it's strange that he mentioned this because who's got a new documentary out? Hmm called Maxine's Baby. The, yeah, that'd be Tyler Perry. Maxine's Baby, the Tyler Perry story. So again, was this a clue to kind of put us on the path as to who he was talking about? Speaking of then, not being brave enough to, and I regret not hurting this person. Because between that year and now, how many young black actors have fell for that? You can hear them on the, on the conversations. You can hear them on the conversations. You can hear him say that he has several guys, multiple guys on payroll, six figures a year that pop up and they do whatever he wants and they go back home. So they pop in, they grab their ankles, they do whatever he wants. And I'm like, I'm not finna fucking do that. I'm not doing that. I don't wanna make it that bad. I want to be able to shave in the fucking morning without any grief or any regret or any shame waiting for me in the mirror. 
I feel bad for those dudes that actually said yes. I feel bad for that because they fell for the pressure. They fell for the opportunity. They're somewhere, you know, working a low end job and somebody comes in with this money and they're like, okay, well, maybe just this once. I guarantee you there's a bunch of them that are going to come out. But I'm glad I didn't sell my soul or my ass. Now, Christians also said um, on, on in these, this video that the person who has been harassing them and the person who assaulted them had, was, was a mentor of his. And in the past, Christians mentioned that his mentor is Tyler Perry. I also had a look at people who Tyler Perry dated, which is and it's so strange because I could find three names in two of them. Two of them. I don't even think dated them. So let let me show you. Now these are the names associated uh, with them: Tyra Banks, and she's come out and vehemently denied ever ever having dated Tyler Perry. Then he was married um, to a girl called, uh, is it Gyla? I'm, I, I'm not sure how to pronounce her name, Bikel. So, and then there was another uh, woman called Tasha Smith. Now, that one as well is a bit iffy where where he dated her, but he definitely didn't date Tyler. He did, he was married to the Bikel, um woman, but Tasha Smith, she was on the Wendy Williams show and she gave an interview, and I'm just going to like put it up and read what she said, which was really interesting. When, I don't, I don't know if she and Tyler maybe just dated for like a month or something, or they just went one or two dates. I'm not sure, but here's um some quotes out of the interview that she done with Wendy Williams. So yeah, um, in that, so this is an article from the Daily Mail uh, that covered uh, her interview on Wendy Williams, and. When she was asked, when on the Wendy Williams show, Smith told the television host that she was shocked to hear Perry was going to be a father. She said, I used to think he was asexual before adding. He's like an uncle that never has sex, like seriously. And this is why I don't think they, they dated. Because it goes on to say, if Smith was surprised to hear about Perry's sex life with then girlfriend Berkel, that's the the first uh, woman who I showed who he was married to. It may be safe to assume she and Perry never dated. In the end, all we know for certain is Perry's long time relationship with Jalila Berkel. I probably I'm butchering her name. I probably, so so sorry. So yeah, she said that she's so confused as to like. What well, he's having a kid because, like, she thought he was asexual. What's asexual, you might ask? Well, someone who is asexual experiences no sexual feelings or desires or attraction to anyone. A person who experiences no sexual feelings or desires or who is and who's not sexually attracted to anyone. Now, it's interesting that she said this. Because in the video, Christian also claimed that this person who had been harassing and who had um, assaulted him, he said that this person offered to pay, pay him $100,000 to strip naked, but he didn't want to touch him. He just wanted to look at him. So it's interesting that someone who who knows Tyler Perry um who allegedly dated him but I don't think she ever she ever did but she she was friends with him um would would say this and it's yeah and then the 
fact that the person who Christian said did this to him also just wanted to like look at his body. It it's it's worth I don't know, it's just interesting to me. Let me know if it's interesting to you. Now a lot of um celebrities have come out in support of Christian. Cardi B, Will Smith, um and some other celebrities. And I'm gonna put their, their posts up here. And I'm also going to read a couple of posts from celebrities just so you can get their yeah, their um take on what's going on. So this celebrity said, I've heard a story from someone close to me who was involved. I never repeated it for a decade. When you worked with blank and always adm- and always admired you for the way you carry yourself. Brother, I'm here for you, always, and I pray God continues to guide you through. What happened was wrong and predatory, and I'm sorry. Now, another celebrity wrote, who was Claudia Jordan, you shared a piece of this with me when we first met, maybe 15 years ago, and said one day you would come forward, and you did. And Christian Keys, I am so proud of you. Do not beat yourself up for waiting. It's hard, especially as a man. I know it's scary and embarrassing and uncharted territory, but you did it. I will stand with you on this as your friend. Because I know it's true. Because this is the same vibe and tone and story you shared with me from 2008. And I believe. Congratulations to you for not going along to get along. And being able to look at yourself in the mirror as you shave in the morning. Other men and women will be saved and feel heard because of your bravery. Love you, friend. Now, Tyler Perry has been getting hell online. I'll put some of the posts up that he's been getting on his Instagram. Yeah, there he's been getting hell. Now the interesting thing is, is that if this wasn't allegedly Tyler Perry, because this Christian guy, see, he does. He seems like a moral good person. He truly does. So if this what this wasn't his good. Friend and mentor, Tyler Perry. You'd think that he would come out and say, like, hey guys, like, Tyler didn't, this isn't Tyler who I'm talking about, so stop, stop leaving, I mean, there's thousands of messages on his, on Tyler Perry's Instagram about this. Stop, like, hassle him, leaving messages, things like that. He's nothing whatsoever to do with this. He's our... He's, he's are backing up the wrong tree, you know, but he's not done that. He's not done that. So if this was his good friend, you know, you'd think that he would. I think it's interesting that he's not came out and publicly stated that this isn't Tyler Perry who he's talking about. Um. Just have to wait and see, I guess, as to to what where this goes because Christian Keys has said that he's got evidence that he's got recordings, and he's taking it to the police. So, yeah, we we just have to wait and see where this basically goes. Um, I was wondering why he hadn't released evidence out to the public. Uh, but then I, I kind in a way I kind of get it, because this is two powerful people basically who's who's named and not named, but um, these are two people he's he's hinting towards in this video, and we all know how easy in this day and age it is to be cancelled or blackballed and never working again, you know so. 
I get it. Plus, I don't know, I, I, I'd have to, like, hear a lawyer's kind of perspective on this, but because he's, like, recorded people, and I don't know if that's been in, like, California or not, um, I'm sure there's, like, laws in California where you can't release recorded conversations or whatever uh, between you and someone else without their permission. So maybe he's got to go to the police and or, and do it in a lawful way and then that way to prove that a crime's been committed and then that way he'll be able to then release these conversations and, and these allegations, sorry. It's super interesting and isn't that interesting as well that everyone that surrounds Harry and Meghan, you know, because this is this is this is Lily's godfather, godfather, you know, um, seems to be stained in blood, like they're not good people at all, and it it, it to me it just like shows me the kind of calibre of people that I mean you hang you you hang who you you hang out who has the most um, in common with you, I guess. Uh, they're not particularly good people, so why would they hang with? Why would they hang out with good people? You know, it just seems like everybody that comes out of the woodwork that's like any part of their friend group or anything like that, or just allegedly, I have to say, because we don't know if this is Tyler Perry or that and that other guy. You know, but yeah, it'll seem to be vile people. So I just have to see where this goes. Sorry that this has been super long. I've got some more evidence regarding this. I'm going to see where the story kind of goes and then I'll make another video and add in clips and things that I think correlate to those clips, like evidence. Maybe not I don't know. Maybe it's maybe just like circumstantial evidence. But... Yeah, and I also I have to apologise that yeah I'm sorry that I didn't get like eh, videos and that up for Halloween and stuff like that. But as I said, I'll do a live later and eh, give you a rundown and uh, uh, um why I didn't do it. Not not that I didn't do it. I do have videos done. Um, I don't know if you still want me to like upload them or not. I've got a bell witch one. Eh, a, a couple of them done. So if you want me to upload them, I will. Um, just let me know. I have to, like... Yeah, I'll have to give a few people a little message as well. They'll be wondering what's happened to me. So anyway, yeah, I'm going to go now, guys. I love you all so much. Um, it's coming up to Christmas. It's, yeah. Difficult one, isn't it? Um, yeah, I don't know. So yeah, I'm just talking crap now. I'll I'll have a conversation with you on the live. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this. Well, how can you enjoy a video about such a subject like this? Hope this video was interesting to you. And yeah, I'll be back later. I love you all so much. Bye.